Hey Sam fans and lunatics, Sam Phil here with Robert Paulson. <laughs> well, was with Robert Paulson. <laughs> anyway, today we've got something really cool in the shop. We have the big wheel. Yes, we have Drew's big wheel here in the shop because it doesn't have any compression. Last time when we took it to the dunes, I think was, um, it's kind of its last trip. <laughs> it was really low on compression then so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put a new top end in it, new piston and cylinder so let's get started okay everybody this is the big wheel <laughs> and I know you guys have seen this this has been in my videos ever since I've been doing videos back in 2008 this guy was in most of the very first videos that we ever shot and what it is is it is a Yamaha big wheel 200 I think it's it's an early 80s I'm guessing I don't remember exactly I think it's an 84 um, it might be an 85 it's it's either an 84 or 85 but uh, anyway so this is Drew's this is Sandrews um, and it used to have a four stroke 200 cc motor in it when he first got it and it was okay I mean it was fun to ride around and stuff but it just wasn't very fast and so he would take it to the dunes every once in a while and we would just do we would just ride around camp and stuff with it it wasn't fun it wouldn't climb any of the sand dunes or anything like that so Drew was thinking about selling it and then he decided that uh, he would look around and see if he couldn't find a 200 cc two-stroke blaster engine out of a out of a Yamaha blaster four-wheeler and that's the motor that's in this thing right now this is a blaster engine so it was a four-stroke when it was originally made by Yamaha and now Sand Squatch Racing has made it into a two-stroke <laughs> and now it is a lot of fun well it was a lot of fun until we just wore it out so what we need to do today is we need to take it apart and uh, and do the cylinder and piston in it. So I'm gonna leave you guys here. I'm gonna start taking off some plastic and stuff, and I'll catch back up with you when I get the cylinder off and on the workbench. All right, everybody. I got the Blaster 200 big wheel taken apart. When I first took it apart, I, it didn't look that bad. I mean, I didn't really notice anything. Here's the head. It looks pretty good. I did notice that there's a little mark right here. And there's a gob of goop right here but I think the wire wheel will clean all this up so then here's the cylinder on it I don't know if you guys can see down the bore or not but it uh, it seems fine it doesn't seem to to be a problem there's no big dings or gouges in it everything looks good and then when I got to the piston I was looking at it from this side and, and it looks good too but this bottom ring is stuck and so I turned it around and looky what we found yeah that's that's not good <laughs> that is probably why we didn't have any compression on this thing so anyway I'm gonna unbox the new stuff and I'll get back with you well alright everybody here's what came in our new kit we've got a new base gasket a new head gasket and a new reed cage gasket so we got that we got a new wrist pin bearing, a set of rings, a new piston with a new rod, and new clips. You know these things are crazy. And we got a new cylinder. Woohoo! So first thing we want to do is we want to clean the cylinder up. So. I'm sure it's packed full of grease. And there we go. All right. Now it looks like we're going to have to transfer some stuff from the old cylinder. Like we're going to need the flange that bolts onto the exhaust. Let's see, we'll need to move the reed cage and all that stuff. But uh, first, let's clean this thing off because. I can tell you it's it's already filthy. Let's look at the bore on it, make sure that that looks good. Ooh, yeah, nice and shiny. Nice crosswork hatch hatchwork on there. Woohoo! This is gonna be nice. 
All right, I'm going to clean all this stuff up. I'll get back with you. All right, everybody, I got everything cleaned up. Now we're going to transfer the exhaust and the reed cage and the reed cage holder over to this new cylinder. So we're going to get on that right now. Whoops, we had some uh, technological difficulties. But first you want to put this crush washer in. So it's going to go in first. And then your exhaust flange. I forgot the crush washer. Now let's move on to the reed cage. Okay, now on to the reed cage. So we need the reed cage gasket. Which is this one, right here. So put this guy on. I'm going to put the reed cage in. Actually, I'm going to clean this out real quick. It's not looking so good. Okay. Now, let's try this again. You gotta line all this good stuff up. The carburetor adapter, the reed cage, and then this and your gasket all in one shot. So Okay, that pretty much finishes the cylinder out, so we're going to set it over here. Now we're going to work on the piston. Alright, now the first thing we're going to do is clean this guy up. Okay, now this is a two-stroke piston. Now this one does have an arrow on it, right there. So that's going to go to the front of the machine toward the exhaust side. But a two-stroke's real easy because it's got these big windows in the sides of the pistons, and that has to go on the carburetor side. So this guy's going to go in just like this. So same as we did on the four-stroke, we're going to put these rings on. Actually, you know what? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this clip in that likes to fly off everywhere. So we're going to put this in first. And let's see. Sitting this way, let's put it in this side. Here again, put your thumb over this so it doesn't fly out. Because they love to do that. Well, let me find my screwdriver. Oh, here's a pick. This will work. I'm going to get this guy set in there. Like I said, put your thumb over the hole because, well, 
try not to get your gloves stuck in it because it will fly all over the shop I'd love to do that okay there we go see we got the ring I don't know if you guys can see it we got the clip in there okay so now let's put some rings on So, if you'll notice, way fewer rings than on the four stroke. So we've got two rings. So, one of these guys should have a bevel to it. Yep, this guy right here. So that's going to be our top ring. I don't know if you can see, but it has some words on it. So that's going to be our top. This is the top of it. This is going to be our second ring. See, it has some words on it too, so this is going to be up. Okay. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the second ring on first. You're just going to work it into that groove. It's real easy and carefully. Super careful with these guys. It's in there just, just like that. There you go. One down. All right. And there we go. All right. Well, I'm going to reset the camera back up. We'll put the piston back on, the cylinder back on, um, and we'll get her going. All right. Okay. Now, something a little different on a two-stroke than on a four-stroke is a two-stroke has a bearing that goes in this rod right here, and it's it's a needle bearing. Let me, if I can get the bag open, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. This is what that looks like. Okay. And it goes in this rod. Now, before we put it in there, I'm going to lube this up with some oil. Just because, remember, everything's better with lubrication. So I want to get some oil on this guy. I'm going to put some oil in here. I'm make sure that guy's nice. Nice and oiled up. Remember, a two-stroke doesn't have any oil. It's, it relies on the oil that's in the engine uh, gasoline. To, uh, to oil that up so we don't want it to start up dry okay let me get this rod out now that my gloves are all oily clean this up here's the piston rod it goes in there I'm gonna oil it up too okay remember we already put our clip in this piston we already put the clip in the piston and the arrow is facing forward for the front of this engine. So we're going to slide this guy in there just like that. I'm going to put this pin in. Line everything up. Just like that. Now, we got to put that clip in. Remember the clips? Okay, so I'm going to move you guys over to the other side. We'll put this clip in. Hang on. Okay, everybody, let's uh, let's get this clip in. Let's cross our fingers and hope this goes easy. And here again on these clips, you want to make sure that you hang on. Whoops, on these clips, you want to make sure that you don't put this open part in that groove on the piston. Make sure you put like one of the closed parts toward it. So. 
All right, so see if we can get this guy to go in there. I brought my little pick over here just in case. I think we got it started. There we go. And she is in the groove. All right. Hold on. There's a gasket's got to go in there. <laughs> Whoopsie. See? Take your time. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, sorry about that. Well, we got the base gasket on right here. So we've got that on. So now we can go ahead and put the cylinder on. And I took off my gloves because it just seems to be easier to put these rings in with my gloves off. So, all right, so we already got the cylinder all oiled up. Hopefully, we can get this quick. Well, I know they're right that time. There is no doubt. That is where they are supposed to be. So, I'm going to put a base bolt in it, and I'm going to turn it over real slow. I know, I need some ratcheting wrenches. You know Christmas is coming up. If anybody want to give me a set, that'd be awesome. I'd use them. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more oil in the cylinder. Then we're going to turn it over and see what it does. There we go. That's the way it's supposed to work. All right. Now the cool thing about a two-stroke is you don't have to worry about timing because it fires every time. All right, let's put the head gasket on it and bolt it back up. Oh wait, first let's make sure I got all these base bolts tightened real good. <laughs> you know what? We forgot to take the studs out of the old head. Hang on, let's do that. Well, there you go. See, I forget stuff all the time. All right, so we need to take these studs out of the head. And the easiest way to do that is if you take two nuts, all right, you put one nut on, you put the other nut on, you lock them down. I think these are 12s. Yeah, let me go get another 12 millimeter wrench. Two 12 meter wrench, millimeter. Lock them together. Two 12 millimeter wrenches. And then, if you just unscrew the bottom one, see, it'll take the stud right out of the head. All right. So I'm going to show you guys this one, and then I'm going to take the rest of these out. And I'll get back with you in a minute when we put them in the head. So should have already done this. <laughs> oh, well. All right, I'll get back with you guys. Whoops. And there you go. That is how you take them out. All right. All right, everybody, well, let's try this one more time. We'll put the head bolts in. Oh, see, this is why you got to take your time and go slow. Because stuff like this is easily done. And uh, I just, I just forgot. I knew I needed to do this and just, you know what, let's put something, put something down in there just in case. We drop something. So I've got all the studs in right now. I'm just tightening them down. And the way you do that is exactly the opposite of what we did is taking them out. Is I use two nuts 
and uh, tighten them down in there. Okay, now let's put the head gasket and everything back together. Okay, let me see. back in or the nuts back on it and we're going to torque these down to 20 foot pounds so I'm going to bring you guys back when I'm ready to torque them down okay everybody got my torque wrench out got it set to 20, 20 foot pounds and um, we're just going to do this in a crisscross pattern so there's the first one it already clicked so we're going to go over here got it and go do these two middle ones Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, I'm going to check them real quick. Okay, there we go guys. Okay, I am going to put the exhaust and the, and the carburetor and everything back on it and um, I'll roll it outside and I will see you guys there for the startup. All right everybody, let's see if she'll start up. Started up. Well, hey everybody, that was awesome. Started on the very first kick. That never happens. Never, never, never. You have to kick it five, ten, fifty times. But uh, anyway, so we got a new top end in the big wheel, so that guy's ready to go back to the sand dunes. Um, in the next video, we're going to start working on the Vincents. I've got one here in the shop. You guys might have seen it in some of the pictures. Um, but we've got three of those. So uh, we've got that coming up. If you guys want any stickers, here's what they look like. Put a picture in here. Please send me a self-addressed stamped envelope to my address, my P.O. box, down below in the description. Um, do everything you need to do so you can keep me up to date on all, or you can keep you up to date on all my videos and uh, anyway we'll see you next time this is going to be sand fill out be safe on the dunes <laughs> what the hell